Hello everyone, I'm the Nubist and you're watching the Nubist Colony. Uh, today's video is going to feature how to keybind with the Razer Naga, but before I get into it, I want to say thank you for to everybody who's been subscribing to my YouTube channel this last week. I also want to say thank you to everybody who's been viewing my videos and engaging in some form of constructive criticism. Um, whether it's liking, disliking, asking questions, complaining, things like that, all of the criticism is good at this point because it allows me to make sure that I am getting the videos you guys want to see. That said, please feel free to ask any questions. Shoot me a mail on YouTube. Shoot me a mail at thenubiscolony at gmail.com. Um, you know, we'll talk it out. Uh, if there's a question or something you want to see, feel free to ask me for it. I've done a video or two already uh, with some subscriber requests. So, that said, I'm going to get into the video here, which is going to be key binding for the Razer Naga. It's not very different. Uh, if you've ever used the Razer Naga before, it's, it's not too hard. There's not going to be too terribly much here for you to learn. Um, there's only really one tip for you experienced Razer Naga users. Uh, this is more for people that are just getting the mouse. Maybe it be for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, the holidays in general. Uh, or they're thinking about picking one up. Um, when you start using the Razer Naga, do know, as a disclaimer, it takes about a week or two to get used to just using the mouse. It's a, a far cry from using keybinds. Um, so try not to get worked up and frustrated because it's not going to do anybody any good, especially yourself. Um, maybe practice by killing mobs between war zones or raids or something. I don't know. But uh, it does take a little bit of practice. Number two, uh, for tips, I would say make sure that your Razer Naga, if you look at the bottom of it, it is set to the number pad check. There is no reason whatsoever with the Razer Naga to be having it on the one, two, three side of things because that's going to just get rid of a bunch of keybinds that you could otherwise utilize for other things. Um, because you use WASD for movement, uh, you're never going to take, uh, you shouldn't, I mean, some people might, uh, but you should never take your hand off the mouse uh, at any point in time, really, uh, during combat. So that means you're not going to be taking your right hand off your mouse or your left hand off your mouse and running over and pressing the number pad keys. Uh, so set it to the number pad keys so that way you can put like stim packs or uh, med packs or other abilities or something uh, on the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up top or whatever you can reach your fingers out to. Um, <clears throat> That said, uh, that'll free up a lot of keybinds, and make sure you're doing that. That's the only other tip for you experienced people. You can stop watching at this point, or continue watching while I show people how to set this thing up. So, for those of you that are new to the Razer Naga, feel free to go into your Preferences panel, and you're going to go to your Quick Slots. And as you notice, I myself do not have, before I say anything else, I do not have my keys bound. The Quick Slots are not bound to number keys, the number pad keys. Um, they really should be, and I'm going to be doing that as soon as this video is over, uh, because I'm I was just grinding to level 50. I just hit 50, and I wasn't concerned with it. Uh, it's not a big deal. It doesn't change your playing, other than now I have more binds and I want to free them up and reorganize all my keybinds for PvP optimization. Um, so what you do is you go to your quick slots and you scroll down and you'll see uh, the left one here, the left quick slot bar, the right quick slot bar, your bottom quick slot bar, and then the bottom center. All of those can be bound. So if you look at my bottom center quick slot one, bottom center quick slot one is bound to alt and one. So that would be holding alt and pressing the number one key on my Razer Naga. What that does is assassinate. If I press alt, or I'm sorry, if I press just the number one on my Razer Naga, that first button there, I saber strike. Okay, so you can set modifiers up, no problem. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You just have to go through um, and change all your bindings and get them all set up. One thing that kind of annoys me right now with the key binding system and BioWare in general is that they didn't, they're not allowing add ons. Uh, I myself used a quick key binding add on for World of Warcraft where I could just key bind on the fly. I could just, you know, open up the console or the UI command for the uh, add on and then hover over the ability, 
bind it how I wanted it and then hit enter and it would bind it. Um, I like that ability because then it allows you to have much more control of your key bindings rather than having to come back into the preference panel if you want to move an ability uh... you know it's just a lot more controllability uh, they'll, they'll fix that in time but either way um, the naga is really good to get used to uh... it really makes your pvp experience and your pve experience a lot more organized and a lot easier i know it's rough like stretching your fingers down to maybe that ten key the eleven or the twelve but that'll come after about a week week and a half practice with the mouse um, other than that, I don't really have much else. Uh, you know, keybinding the mouse is pretty straightforward. It works like any other keybinds. But uh, just wanted to tell you guys that make sure you're using the number pad, I guess, uh, to bind because otherwise you're wasting all those nice little numbers on top for keybinding. All right, I'm not gonna ramble anymore. I'm gonna go and make some money. I am the Nubist. You're watching the Nubist Colony. Thanks, everybody.